everybody, and welcome back to some more wonderful Wubulus Project Zomboid. And I am literally recording this minutes after my last my last run because of how god awful the last two runs have been. As you can see, please don't kill me so quickly. Didn't even work. So we're gonna try. No, seriously. Stop it. Is gonna be the name of this one. And uh, I I I I don't know what to do. Matt Smith is gonna be this one. I. I I have an idea, actually. I don't want to say I don't know what to do. I have I have a very very good idea of what I'm gonna do. Um, and the problem the problem is not the game; it's me. Uh, I've been doing so I've been doing horribly, horribly with with my my decision making, and, and it's bothering me an incredible amount, an incredible amount. Uh, I've just been playing so sloppy, and I don't know what it is. Um, I think not having a weapon early on is actually hurting me, obviously. But that shouldn't I should be playing smarter than that. And I know I can play smarter than that, and we're going to play smarter than that. So we have to take things slow, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attempt, we're gonna get bandages out of these right away. Um, what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take things a step at a time. I'm gonna make sure I don't leave the area that I'm gonna deem safe. Um, this whole starting area is, looks like it's probably gonna be pretty safe. But I don't want to leave it unless I have a weapon and I have a nice area set up for a safe house. Oh, this is great start right here. Uh, grabbing that that early is nice sleeping tablets. We're definitely going to grab that and slap that in there. Um, and, you know, we should probably just make the starting area um, our, our kind of safe house. Somewhere I can call home and come back to at any given time. And I think that's what we're going to end up doing here. Um, so we're gonna do that. Let's move the, one of the can openers over here. Tuna, uh, we're gonna take a look. We got canned beans, we have some chips, we have a bowl as well. Uh, we're gonna fill some of this stuff up with water, obviously. And, uh, no weapon yet, but I'm not gonna get too distraught about that situation quite yet. I feel like we have ourselves, uh, a decent strategy. I'm not gonna engage zombies. This is not, not gonna happen. Engaging zombies this early is a horrendous horrendous idea and I have to come to grips with the fact that making those decisions of trying to take out zombies this early on has been what caused my death and I can't continue to make poor decisions like that if I wanna continue trying to, to live through all of this so we'll see what we do um, obviously looting in the nearby area is a must getting away from the highway is a must uh, or not even call it a highway but the main road is an absolute must and uh, we'll, we'll try to move inward a little bit. Give ourselves some open space to run around if we ever need to. And hope, 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 hope that none of these have alarms. Seems okay. Um, we're going to keep that window open for one particular reason. If we end up having to run um, because there are zombies in here, we are going to go out the back window. See, these houses are so much more dangerous when you don't have a weapon. And I, I'm just not used to that feeling of utter and utter helplessness and I don't I think that's what been ended up killing me in general when I've been playing this new version is not being smart enough to realize how helpless I am um, and so we're gonna call this little middle house mm, the middle house is small um, but we might want to call this our home for a bit so we're gonna close the window and we'll probably end up making this our home for a little while uh, I think that might be our best decision here we're gonna add the sheet and there we go and we can just close the curtain and we'll call this our bedroom um, we'll check the nearby houses just quickly um, if there are any zombies nearby we're gonna avoid really getting anywhere near them um, pick, taking a peek in the windows may end up being something we need to do a little bit better uh, because we're just not ready for whatever's in that in the house we've been we've been screwing ourselves in many 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 different ways by just walking aimlessly into into a house and this is what I'm talking about I can hear them I don't know where they are but I can absolutely hear them and that they might be over here to be honest with you um, we're gonna creep over a little bit we gotta be very very careful no I don't hear any banging over here so they're probably in that house somewhere that I just can't see them nope let's see if we can get in here what I'm looking for right now is it it isn't so much food, or it's just a weapon. It's a weapon at this point. Whether it be a kitchen knife, or a bat, or an axe, which would be preferable, which we might have to go to a warehouse for, which will be up north area, which we're pretty close to, but going up that direction without a weapon 
is, I don't want to say a death sentence, but it's a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Um, because we don't have any real way of defending ourselves. And if we end up saying, yo, we have a kitchen knife, let's just go, we're just going to die. It's just going to be our inevitable doom, and I'd rather not deal with it. Uh, let's just see what we can get out of here. Um, let's see. Peanut butter. Hopefully these guys don't see us. Canned soup. We'll move a little bit over this way. There we go. A lot of good stuff here. We'll take the soda. We'll empty it by drinking. And then we'll fill it with water so we can have something here. We should probably fill both of these, actually. Something I wanted to do initially. Um, we might have to do it somewhere else or in, like, a bathroom or something. Okay, that's the push mechanic, which we can do. Got to be careful. All right, nothing in here. Got to be careful. Nothing. We can definitely fill bowl, fill kettle, and then fill empty bottle. I hear moaning. They're probably outside. We're going to put the bowl and the kettle in the bag just to lighten up a little bit of our load. Oh, shit. Holy crap. All right, leaving. See you later. Just gonna leave that door open, let the zombies wander out. Not gonna worry about it. It's not worth fighting over, or fighting for. Let them have it. I'm gonna check in here. I can't really see much, unfortunately. Um, door's open. That's a good sign. Though I thought there might be zombies in here, so we should be careful. Um, what are we going to take? We're going to take the whiskey bottle. We have a can opener. Beans, yeah, they got to be in one of those rooms back there. Got to be careful. Got to be very careful and potentially very, very quick. Okay, I'm nervous. I don't want to get caught in a bad spot here. Alright, how we looking? Duffel bag looks good. I would love to find some sort of weapon. Any sort of weapon. I'm positive there are zombies in here. Uh, I'm obviously seeing them somewhere. Oh yeah, there they are. They're in there. You know what? Have your friggin' house. Oof, okay. Alright. Wow. Jumpy. Very, very jumpy. I'm definitely really nervous right now. I don't want to die. I gotta, I gotta play more cautiously than I have been. And that's fine. Um, where did we come from? I think it was this house. Why, is the, why didn't I leave the door open like a moron? Need to leave the door open, just so I know that I've been in there. It's not worth not knowing and, and wasting time searching the house. Alright. Let's see if we can get in here. Actually, we should swing around front and double check to make sure there are A, are no zombies in the, at the door over here, and B, look in from a different angle and see if there's anything in here. And to make sure that the door is not locked, or unlocked, rather. That way we could have gotten in a lot easier, but that's fine. Looks like this house will be safe. We'll eventually pry this window open, we'll take it for what it's worth, and we'll head to the safe house. Already looking a little bit better, but I said that last time and I got my ass killed very, very, very quickly. No alarm. Sounds good. Upstairs might be where the dangerous parts are. So we'll be in and out um, as fast as I can. I'm gonna take that. I mean, a rolling pin is a weapon, so we're gonna take it for now. Um, it's better than nothing. I'm pretty sure we can use it as a weapon anyway. Yeah, see, I can... It swings like a bat, but probably does way less damage. Uh, the peanut butter will take, obviously. Just going to keep the main inventory open. Nothing, nothing, nothing. This is actually extremely good haul right there with that water. And we'll go upstairs just to check real quick. Just to check. Probably could... Oh! Absolutely wonderful. Okay. A weapon of some sort. Happily take it. Rolling pin. We'll pack up. We'll hang on to it. We'll keep it at the house. I feel safer checking upstairs now. Alright, I'm a little nervous. Yep, one. I'm not gonna fight him. Not worth it. Let him uh, do his thing. I'm gonna go out the front door to make sure it stays unlocked. I'll open both doors. Done. Alright, that's fine. I can hear him. He's banging on a window. Probably this one. That's fine. Again, 
not worried about it. We got in, we got out, we can go back later when he either busts the window and gets bored or whatever. Not worth my death, and that's something I have to get used to. Playing cautious is the only way to play this game now. It's the only way to play this game. And, uh, I, I'm telling you, it's my bad habits carried over from Q that are getting me killed. It's my bad, my own poor, piss poor play. And I'm getting mad with myself because I could survive for months on end before something dumb would kill me. And now, now it's barely a week at most, at most, before I die. I can hear banging. What? What is banging? I'm gonna swing out here. It's gotta be over here. It's just, I just gotta be hearing it from over there. Just wanna make sure. Like, I, I don't wanna think that some zombie has spawned in my house, so. It's fine. There we go. Um, we're good. We are safe, we are safe, we are safe. Let's start unpacking some of our, our goods here. And, uh, I will gladly call it a success thus far. Oop, thought the game was going to crash on me for a minute there. Luckily, it did not. We're going to take all of that, even the can opener, because we don't need to worry about it so much. Put everything inside the fridge. Unpack up the book we could probably keep out of it. We'll grab the book afterward. Slowly pack everything away into the fridge. Make sure everything's safe for us in general. Um, all right, there he is. I knew he was banging on that. That's fine. Um, actually, it might be a good idea to see if I, what kind of zombie he is. Is he fast? Is he slow? Um, and can I, can I take him out? I don't think he's gonna wander this way for the mere, uh, explanation that he doesn't know where I went. He was just banging on the window because that's the last time he saw food come this way, essentially. Um, so with that in mind, we're probably safe. But I do want to check because, uh, I do want to make sure he doesn't start banging on stuff. And if I can lead him away, at the very least, I'll accept that. So after packing everything up, we're gonna go do a double check real quick couple of watermelons, squeeze them in the mini fridge. Somehow the mini fridge fits way more food than it should be able to. And we're going to swing over this way and make quadruple sure. Yeah, he came out of the house and he just kind of sat there. Yeah, yeah, I can, uh, oh, we're losing frames. I don't want to attack him when we're dropping frames for no reason. There we go, frames are back. It's the weather, the, the oh, we're losing frames big time. It's the zombie, maybe? All right, we gotta go, we gotta go. Frames or no frames, we've gotta go. Down. Can we kill him? There we go, we got him. Oh, we got him. Down you go, big guy. Down you go. Don't get back up. Don't get back up. We'll move this in here. There we go. We'll leave the sheet on him for now and we'll call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.